Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about a simple concept that has given me trouble for a very long time. That is setting up a version number once and reusing it multiple times. The reason that you might want to do this is that you've got something like your setup tools version, which is the actual version of your package, but then you might also want to use that same version inside of the code itself of your Python package. The way to do this is very simple. We create a single file with a under version constant, and then we can use it in multiple places. I'll show you how to do that. A lot of people think that maybe you could do, you know, from version import version. Unfortunately, this doesn't work because Python's setup.py file does not have access to your code itself. So then some people think, well, let's just make it a string. And that's definitely possible. The problem is now you have to maintain two separate constants and that's no fun because then they drift. And I've had this happen before where I've released version five, let's say, but in my code, it was still version four because I forgot to update it in the second place. So what we can do is we can actually replace that with this neat little function here. Basically, instead of importing the version constant, we can have a file that is dedicated just to the version, in this case, underscore version.py, with a dunder version constant of my string. And then what that will do is we'll import, well, not import, actually, we will open the file as you, know, you would any other text file. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually search through that file for the single line there. We're going to grab the version file, we're going to read it, and then we're going to split it up into different groups with regex. And then that gives us the actual version that we need. This way, as you can see here on the left hand side, it allows us to import the version as the setup tools .setup function needs. And then on the right side, we can actually use it in the code itself. The beauty of this is that you get one place to define your version. You get to use it in multiple places. You no longer have that version drift like I mentioned before, and it makes it very easy to kind of track what version you're working with in your project. So wanted to share this with anybody. Hopefully it's helpful to somebody. Pretty straightforward. Go ahead and grab the code here. I'll also link it down below. This project is the GitHub archive that I created, uh, but you'll find these in any of my Python projects, this little snippet. Super helpful, super useful. I hope it's the same for you. If you like what you see, make sure to subscribe to me. We'll see you next time.